Hey, g'day, it's Rob here and just back from a few days in Melbourne for the Australian Open Tennis. Now, as a tennis fan, I'm probably on the mad crazy scale of things, but what was great about this time was my daughter went down with me and she is a mad crazy tennis fan as well. I haven't forced her to be a tennis fan, she has just grown into it over the years. Now the most amazing thing was that we went down there and we were able to meet Angie Kerber. That was the dream of my daughter for quite some time. About two years ago, right at this time we were sitting there watching the Australian Open, she was doing well and Alicia said, I really want to meet her. So we actually made a plan to create a tennis website and then get into a tournament as media. So Sydney 2019, we made it to that tournament and we actually saw Angie Kerber, but we couldn't fangirl her because we were media, couldn't ask for autographs, couldn't ask to be in a photo with her. So that kind of disappointed my daughter and she really, really wanted to go this time to the Australian Open. So down we went Sunday and on Monday we actually went to the tennis. It was fantastic, apart from a bit of rain. We got to see Naomi Osaka, Serena Williams and Roger Federer all playing on the opening day. But anyway, the aim of the trip was to see Angelique Kerber. And I was really worried that it just wouldn't work out and my daughter would come away disappointed, but it actually went to plan. But almost it didn't. We were waiting on the court that Angie was scheduled to practice on and there was a threat of rain. And it hadn't been raining so far, but we were standing there waiting for Angie. Alicia had prime position right next to the player's chair and she would have been right up close with Angie. But the time came and there was no Angie. She had a bit of a injury scare going into the tournament and we thought, oh no, she's pulled out. But they had an indoor practice centre right next door, so I decided to run over and have a look inside there. And wow, there she was, Angie Kerber practicing. So quickly ran over, told Alicia, she went in and whoa, all excited. But would we get to actually meet her? That was the key thing. Practice went, got photographs, video, and it was over. Angie came over to the fans and the security guard lifted the curtain and then Alicia jumped down there, got a selfie, and also she had just bought some shoes and I suggested getting the shoe autographed. So she did that and that was that. Alicia came away, she was so excited. And the best thing for me at that tennis tournament was seeing my daughter really enjoying that moment. Like she wanted it so much and if it didn't happen, she would have gone away disappointed. But it happened, she was excited. And then the next night, Tuesday night, Angie was on Rod Laver Arena and she won her match. So it topped it off. It was a great time away with my daughter, had so much fun. And as a parent, it was great that I was able to share that moment. Life is about experiences and sharing the moments with your children. Like a couple of years ago, I decided I wanted to work at home to enable me to be able to see the kids more often. And in doing so, there were financial struggles and sacrifices to be made, which I'm still working my way through, but I'm getting there. Now, what I do can actually help you. So I went away, had a great experience with my daughter. In the future, I'd love to take my son as well and experience it all together, but he's too young and gets too bored and whatever. But there are plenty of kids activities down there. So in the future, I'd love to take him and share those moments. But in the work that I do these days, it's all about helping people to improve their lives and have the money to become financially independent. So how can that happen? I've got a webinar that you can watch and I'll have a link 
on this page that can take you to that webinar and it will explain how you can become financially free. So it's risk free. You can learn all about it later on. But right now this is all about the tennis. It was a great time. I really just love seeing the excitement in my daughter's eyes and seeing her fulfill her dream to meet Angie Kerber. We also saw lots of great other action. A friend of mine, Mark Polmans, he won his first ever round one match at the Australian Open, his first ever Grand Slam win. So that was very exciting. Also just the buzz of being in the tennis arena. So many fans. It was packed out on the Tuesday. It was just crazy how many people they let in there. But that's all for now. I thank you for watching and if you're a tennis fan, I hope you're enjoying the Australian Open. And that's all for now, so see you later.